Okay, today we're going to be replacing a broken screen in Compact Presario CQ57. Um, as you can see the cracks in the LCD. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a Phillips headed screwdriver. You're going to need safe pry tools or a spudger. Um, also like to use a magnet for screws so that I don't lose them. Um, also you're going to need your new LCD from there that I've just received today. And already started the process so I'm going to get things set up here and kind of show you how to take it apart at first and we'll be back in a moment okay let's start off and in each corner of the bottom of the screen you're going to see these little covers like so it's a, just a thin plastic sticker You're going to remove those. I've already had the other one off. Um, they look like this. Um, I usually just stick them on there with a the palm pad. But underneath the sticker, you're going to have a screw on each side that needs removed. Right there. And then. There, I've already got that one removed. As I stated before, I've already removed this LCD so that I could identify it and order it. I'm going to remove those screws. And then you're going to take either a safe pry tool, like so, a tar pick type, or you could use a spudger. Which is what I like to use. Um, just take. I'm gonna do one-handed. And you remove the plastic piece around the screen. Then you're going to have <clears throat> three screws in each corner. You're going to have two here. Then underneath, you're going to have one more. Then if you go up to the top corners, there's a screw here and a screw here. Okay, so to recap the screws here, we have two, one, two here, then there's one underneath, which would be here, and then one in each corner here and over here. Remove those screws, and your LCD will. 
come free from the back, the backing on it, the plastic cover on the front of the laptop. The small hinge covers, like so, are located over the top of each hinge. And if you notice, that on this model, there is a screw here, and on the back side, you have to pop it off with your safe pry, your safe pry tool. Right here. Just put it in there. It pops right off. Okay. Once you have removed the back plate from the LCD, you're going to want to get the model number and the revision number. That way, when you do order, you get the correct laptop screen. Um, a lot of times on the back, there are multiple connectors on this one. There's only one. Um, it was taped underneath the plastic shroud here. Uh, you pull the tape off and slide it out. <coughs> Moving forward, you're going to have screws on each side. Let's see, we got one, one, two. Three screws on each side that have to be removed, and then the LCD will come out of its frame. Okay, once you have the LCD screen removed, you should have a frame. It looks something like this. It's uh, one on each side. As you can see, I have this one up so you can see it. Then you should kind of compare your LCDs and make sure um, connectors, size, and make sure that they are the same. And next step is to install the screen, the new screen. Okay, here's the new screen laid out on top of the old laptop. Um, as you can see, this has a protective film over the top of it, which I like to keep on there. Um, it's only held on by some masking tape, but um, I like to keep it on there until after at least I have everything screwed in place and ready to put the plastic around the outside. kind of helps protect the screen while I'm working on it. So I'm going to get this started and we'll be back. Okay, the new LCD fits handsomely. <coughs> <clears throat> the connector, you just grab your tape and pull securely and it will slide into place. Okay, once you've come to this point, this is where <clears throat> I remove the protective film. Um, like I said before, it's just masking tape. You can just rip it on either side. And the next step is to put the bezel back on. And we're done. This concludes the install for LCD on a compact Versario CQ57. Thank you. Um, also, if you're lucky, the little tabs here will still have enough adhesive. If not, take some uh, 3M double sided tape. Uh, I use 2mm and that should take care of your problem. Thank you and good day.